Hello again, I'm Dr. Jordan Taylor, the Undergraduate Exercise Science Program Director and Associate Teaching Professor at the University of Kansas. Are you looking to strengthen and increase the size of the muscles on the posterior aspect of your upper arm? One of my favorite exercises for developing this muscle group, the triceps brachii, is the lying barbell triceps extension. This single joint exercise is commonly referred to as skull crushers. First, let's talk a little bit about the triceps brachii muscle group before I discuss and demonstrate the lying barbell triceps extension exercise. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the triceps brachii. So just like a triceratops has three horns, the tricycle has three wheels, the triceps brachii, the brachii is referring to the upper arm, triceps is referring to the three-headed muscle that's on the posterior aspect, the back side of the upper arm, okay? So the three heads that make up the triceps include the long head, and the long head basically originates off of the shoulder blade, so the scapula on the back side. And it's called the long head because it literally is the longest one of the three heads. And then the fibers are going to run down the back of the arm and they kind of converge into this triceps tendon that um, inserts onto what's called the old crannon process or olecranon process. That's the tip of the elbow back here, right? So the lateral head then is on the outer edge, right? The lateral side of the arm. It's shorter than the long head. Um, it basically originates on the humerus, the upper arm bone. And then again, its fibers are going to converge towards that um, triceps tendon. And um, it'll be hooked into the olecranon process as well. The medial head is going to be kind of more on the, on the inside, the middle part of the upper arm. Again, it's a, a shorter uh, head compared to the long head. Its fibers also as well converge into that um, triceps tendon, and then it's connected to the olecranon process, the elbow, all right? Now, all three of these heads, if you look at their concentric action, uh, when these muscles shorten, their function is to extend the elbow. So, you know, like if I was throwing a dart, or with this exercise I'm getting to, ready to demonstrate here in a bit, the lying barbell triceps extension. Again, when those muscles shorten, it's going to transmit force to that tendon and onto the olecranon process, and that's gonna cause the elbow to extend. Okay, so all three heads, that's the main function. Um, now the long head, because it connects to the, the shoulder blade, it also has some actions at the shoulder joint. So the long head, um, one of its co other concentric actions is to extend the elbow or extend the shoulder, right? So this is shoulder extension if I start here and extend my arm down and back. It can also help adduct. So if I stand this way and pull my arm in, right? That's primarily latissimus dorsi, but also that long head of the tricep can help adduct the arm. And it's also the long head, it has an action in shoulder joint horizontal abduction. So if I stand here with my shoulder flexed and my arm, my elbow extended, my arm in front of me, and I move in this transverse plane, my arm laterally away from my body, um, of course the upper back muscles play a role in that, but also the long head of the tricep. The main thing all three have in common is they work to extend the elbow. So obviously if you want to strengthen those muscles, all three heads, um, then you're going to need to load elbow extension, right? Which is what I'll be demonstrating here coming up. Okay, so like I said, skull crushers, one of my favorite exercises. Um, I can remember when I first started lifting weights <laughs> back when I was 16 using my dad's old weight set down in the basement. Um, I was too nervous, I was too skinny, too small to want to go to a gym and actually work out with a bunch of people around. Um, but when I was 16, I got into it, and I remember um, the triceps exercise became, this triceps exercise, one of my favorites. Um, and if you're trying to develop your arms, I think a lot of people always think of bicep curls and develop the bicep, you know, because that's the muscle you show off when you flex. But Remember that the tricep, being that it's three heads, takes up significantly more area on the upper arm than what the bicep does. So if you really want to fill out your shirts, 
<laughs> make sure you're training your tricep in addition to the bicep on the front of the arm. So again, we'll get into kind of the setup and what this exercise looks like. All right. So again, just basic starting body position. You want to have five points of contact. So the first two points of contact, your right foot, left foot flat on the floor. Your butt's going to be on the bench, obviously. You don't want to be bringing your butt up off the bench when you're lifting. And then, so that's the third point of contact. Fourth point of contact would be the upper back. Fifth point of contact, the head. Okay. Now, grip. Okay. You want to use a closed, so you can see my fist here. Wrap the thumb around the bar, closed, pronated grip. So my palms are going to be facing away from me down towards the feet. We don't want to have an open grip with our thumb behind the bar because you don't want to lose grip on that bar and then it slides down your forearm and lands on your face and then you really do crush your skull or it lands on your chest, right? So make sure you have a closed pronated grip. Wrap that thumb around the bar. Just safety. All right, so... Again, I've got my five points of contact. My um, closed pronated grip. And if you look at where my hands are, they are about shoulder width apart. And my wrists are stacked over my elbows, my elbows over my shoulders. And this bar is right over my chest, okay? And then all we're going to do is we're going to keep the arms perpendicular to the floor here. We're not going to move at the shoulder joint. We're only going to start flexing at the elbow, lowering, and then extending back up. Okay, so I'm lowering the bar to about the top of my head and back up. Okay, so there shouldn't be much, if any, movement at the shoulder joint. Okay, right? We don't want to be doing this, right? This is like a pullover. See how I'm moving at the shoulder joint? We just want to flex and extend at the elbow. Flex, extend at the elbow. All right. Notice how my elbows are staying pointed away. Right? I'm not flaring them out to the side. They're pointed down towards my knees. Okay. Now, a couple other points. If you have longer arms, you may end up kind of bringing the barbell back behind the head a little bit or towards the top back part of the head. That's fine. A little bit shorter arms, you know, when you flex at the elbow and you lower that load under control in a controlled manner, it may hit about the forehead. Either way, when you have to press it back up during that concentric phase, you're loading elbow extension. So that's the goal here to train the triceps. Since that's their function, all three heads is to extend the elbow. You apply a load, a resistance against that, and you develop strength and muscle mass over time. So very simple exercise, but very effective. I'd say as far as working this into your program, do these a couple times a week, uh, maybe twice a week, four sets, eight reps, somewhere in that range. Um, 90 seconds to two minutes rest in between sets. You could go less if you feel or slightly longer if needed. Uh, but since it's a single joint exercise, it's not going to take as much recovery time between sets as say like a squat or a deadlift or any big multi-joint exercise. One other thing I want to mention as far as the wrists, when you have that closed pronated grip, also make sure that your wrists are not hyperextending back, you want to keep these wrists neutral and stiff throughout the whole movement. So everything is stacked, right? The hand, the wrist, the elbow, all of that over the shoulder, that's your starting stacked position, right? So I'll just do a couple more. Okay, so look at how my upper arms, everything, the wrists are neutral, they're stacked over the elbows elbows over the shoulders, and then lowering in a slow, controlled manner to the top of the head, pressing up. 
all right, and then ending over the chest. So you're just lowering in an arc towards the top of the head and back up, right, and keeping everything nice and stiff, especially those wrists, right, not letting them hyperextend. I hope this Fitness Facts video helped you understand the lying barbell triceps extension. Thanks for watching.